G'day, I'm Ash. Hope you're all doing fantastically well. Welcome yourselves back to War Thunder. Uh, today's coverage is primarily focused around the major Galgen Entertainment news regarding War Thunder when it comes to universal backups, wages, and trophies that you get from, uh, you know, boxes, crates, and whatever. If you're unfamiliar with previous coverage, I did do a video uh, detailing all of the sort of changes coming to effect as it wasn't necessarily the most popular idea within the community itself. And some significant developments have come from Gaussian and their regarding their uh, changes to the network and obviously the future of what they want to do. And this is particularly interesting for all of us that love our universal backups. And if you're unfamiliar with what the changes are, here is this uh, audio clip from the last video. All newly obtained universal backup vehicles Orders and wages will now have a validation time to be activated and expiration time for all orders. All relevant data added to their description. Attention, all previously obtained universal backups and orders to be used within a lengthy period of time as now stated in the description. Unfortunately, the community didn't necessarily take too well to the change. It in itself was controversial in all matters and nature. The post generating quite a bit of backlash from major community members, a lot of feedback, a lot of tweets, a lot of discussion around why wages and battle wages and also vehicle backups were a thing that you should put on a, a timer. Unfortunately, the change has gone and backfired for Galaxian Entertainment with the resounding negativity being discussed as basically overwhelming any good that this potential patch had for the community. It overshadows every nice and positive thing you could possibly say about the upcoming update due to the fact that one simple change that wasn't asked for by the community. It has taken them a couple of days to respond, but Gaussian Entertainment, via the means of Stoner, one of the community managers, has responded directly here. Here is what they have to say on the matter. Recently, we shared our plans about the changing rules of certain items in the inventory, where all who received universal backups and orders would, would have an activation deadlines as well as for all wages and a limited validity period after activation. This includes the intention of limited uh, period which early received items might get used. In announcing these changes we didn't want to deprive you of the accumulated items and thus ruin your experience in the game. On the contrary we want items to be used often in battles and often bring you more uh, benefits. However we took your feedback and suggestions into account and will not apply the new mechanics where applicable uh, that you already have in your inventory, you'll be able to use them whenever you want to. The limitation of activation time for newly obtained items will be implemented with the first Battle Pass season in 2022. This information will be listed in the item description, similar boosters. We thank you for the constructive feedback on the official forum and social media. And by delaying the change for another three months, hopefully that gives time to, for everyone to use thousands and hundreds of backups they might have in their account. With holding that, it seems like they do a sort of a pattern in this regard where they do something way controversial and then they pull back a little bit and then they seem like the good guys to get what they want and then obviously put through the change when nobody really wanted it in the first place. The issues with wages and backups is a multi-tiered issue, which I won't get into today, but the response itself sounds a bit like Wargaming's response to the recent controversies that came out about the content partner program. We heard your response and we're scaling it back by and, and we're doing it by 30% and we're delaying it three months. But this update is going to happen and this change is going to happen no matter what. And in the long run, we shall get what we want. Maybe the short term solution would be to, uh, well, add if you're going to add a timer, let the old ones not expire and only put the new timers on newly brought wages, orders and backups only. But that's hindsight. I suppose there's an ulterior meaning here that Gaussian really wanted to force on us here. Because unfortunately, this looks like this is just another one of those changes that's going to come through regardless of whether we want it or not. In fact, this reminds me of a very similar situation a couple of years back when they introduced the Gaussian Marketplace. This was an attempt to put up uh, forbidden modifications and increase your vehicle's combat efficiency by giving it extra parts, performance modules, and so on and so on. And I remember when the community backlash was so hard, they said they'd only sell vehicle skins, and then a few years later, now we have rare event vehicles. Hmm. Seems like the opposite is happening again. Right, you're up to date. Now off your fuck, go uh, use those wages before they expire. My name is Ash, catch you the next one. Cheerio.